be dropping that. And I look too good to be buying that. Okay. Hey, you know I look way too good. Yeah. 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 I'm yeah. conceited. I got everything. This is my jam. Oh. <laughs> Damn, yo, this reminds me of like freshman I year. Like my song. Freshman year. No, what's it freshman year? I think it came out before I was in college. Wow. But yo, when this song used to drop. Shout out, shout out to Remy Ma, welcome home. Yes. I was actually um, listening to a station in the morning. I won't say his name. Oh, that other station. But they were playing, on, uh, I think it's a remix with Beyonce, Remy. Oh, she's already on remixes? Yeah, uh, the, the um, remix of, oh God, what's that song? Not on the road, the girl, one of them Beyonce songs. And, and um, what's the girl's name? Nikki. And Nicki Minaj. Wait, Nicki Minaj yes. and Remy Ma on one Nikki, track? Nicki, Beyonce, and Remy all on the same track. Damn, man, I wouldn't even have this. Track. Wow. Yeah. I don't think it's really out yet, but anyway. What's up? What's up? Shout out to all the listeners. How's everybody doing today? This is your girl, Miss Light and Lively, DJ Greg Nice. We're mm. back for another In The Mix Monday. So, um... Of course, we usually do a recap of what was going on over the weekend, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm I'm gonna let you start that off, Greg. What did you do? What I do over the weekend? Um, what did I do over the weekend? I know because I didn't last get week much you said sleep. you I said you were supposed sleep. to turn down this weekend last week. Yeah, That's what you said I, you were doing. I I, I did try to turn down, but I'm you know what I. <laughs> Listeners, I'm gonna tell you one thing. I did. I, no, 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 no. I turned down. I worked, even though I was, I was in in a turn up environment. I was on the working side. That was Saturday. Um, um, shout out to the couple that got married. Um, shout out to the people that were having fun because the couple themselves were the most boringest people I've ever met. In my lives. <laughs> but oh, the wow. people that were there, they turned up. They was off the chain. Um, but well, you're supposed to have fun at a wedding, that's the yeah, point. Yeah, but if you're getting married, I mean, at least look happy. But it's all good. Okay. <laughs> um, but besides all of that, I, did, I do have a set of those moments that I want to do. But I'm going to wait until we get into it, because I did go to church yesterday. And I'm not a church-going person. I'm a prep person. I like the Bible study. But I'm going to wait till we get into it. Uh, okay. But, yeah. But I'm going to wait, because i got some things to say about that. <laughs> Yeah, I got I got some things too, uh, as usual. Do you, do you, are you like should we just go? Wait, how was well, your weekend? Well, well, you know I have to mention rest in peace to mommy, Mary's, um, you know one of my family members passed away. So, oh. um, you know, Sorry, yeah. thank you. Kind of doing the funeral family thing all weekend, and the the crazy thing is, why is it that? It always takes a funeral for you to meet, like, <laughs> oh, yeah. it was kind of like a, a, a family reunion. Oh, yeah. But, um, I you know. sometimes, because everybody comes out. Yeah. But, um, just rest in peace to her. And, um, you know, so that's what I was dealing with over the weekend. As well as, um, you know what? At some point during the show, I want you to play 50 Cent. It's your birthday, because that was... That was the song. That was the song. So we gotta play that for her. Yes, we gotta play that for her. Damn. Um. Don't don't even. (laughs) Yo, this cream ass. It's not cream ass. Cream ass, right? No, cream ass. Cream ass. Yeah, I I have a little cream ass left over. So I'm going to put it. Well. Anywho, yeah. So this was a you know, lay low type of weekend and only yeah. other thing that I did was the a birthday dinner. Okay. So um, that was about it. But you know yeah. it's we, this time. I, yeah, I think it's we time. could it's just get into it. it. I, I think we're just gonna set it off and let's let's get it over with. Because oh. Wait a minute. Gotta get off my chest. Is your iPad a reflection of your phone? Are those you like, know, like text messages? Um, yeah. That's scary. So, for like, those... You know, like, your messages are full-blown exposed on the iPad. You just, uh, like, save yeah, them I mean, together? Well, you know what? For people, if you have an iPhone and an iPad, they sync. Like, if Extra. you sync it. So, I mean, there's nothing on here that... 
Oh, yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying like you're doing something. I'm. You know what? Anyway, let's let's move on. Anyway. Yeah. Now, I I told my family members. I know that you're probably listening, most likely. That uh, most of my set of moments were going to be about the wake and the funeral services. That's foul. Um, you know, and it's funny because maybe it's just me, but I find humor in just about everything. <laughs> so, not that it was a funny occasion, but the thing that people do. Okay, so remember now. No offense to anybody, but um, you know, I'm not gonna say any names, but. Remember that movie Soul Food? When um, the original Soul Food, when um, one of the sisters was getting married, and some girl came dressed in a like real short, short, short dress. Boom, boom shorts. Yeah, and was dancing with the with the groom, and all the sisters was in the bathroom planning to beat down the girl. But then when they came back to the dance floor, Big Mama had um, already, you know, <laughs> she took care of the situation, right? Yeah. So now. There's certain places where you need to dress a certain way, and I think a funeral service would be one of them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, a family member came dressed extremely, I, 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 I didn't understand, but I, <laughs> like, I thought she was going to the club because the dress was so short and the cleavage was out, and I'm like, um... You were confused. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? I'm sorry. Was she like close? Like was she like close family? Yes. Damn it! So everybody yes. knows her. Yes. <laughs> oh, sh- <laughs> love her, love her to death. Oh, but um, uh, my mom. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> you didn't get the memo, but that type of situation, you know, kind of in a well, not kind of. It was really like. Like she couldn't walk by you without you like look look, look at this. Yeah, like, yeah, this. everybody was like, like wow. And she had figure assets of uh, yes. she had speed bumps all around. Oh, yeah. Okay. So Every- it wasn't it wasn't a bad image. No, I, I even I even said I even said to her, Yo, where are you going? And I, oh, I, you approached her. I, yeah, but on the low, on the oh. low. I approached her and I was like, It's funny um, how you said something when you notice it was someone close to you, which is, but we're gonna get into that later. I mean, you know, I, I didn't wanna, you know, but I was just like, yo, where you going? And I kind of tried to pull her dress down a little bit, <laughs> but, oh, but, you know, it wasn't working. Anyway, love her, but um, hopefully we won't have any future situations like this, but, you know, certain places, you gotta oh, kind of, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Now, okay, another thing, this is all, I, I already warned my family, I'm sorry. Now, <laughs> You know there's somebody playing the piano or organ or whatever. Now, if you do not know how to play the piano, uh, please do not get on the piano and try why you to keep up be, with why the gotta, people singing. No, because he was on there doing a one finger thing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, <laughs> I was like, okay, um, you need. I wanted to slap him off the piano, but I, I don't know who he was. I mean, he was a family member. Your but family's not listening, are they? Yeah, they probably. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I told y'all I was gonna do it, but look, I'm not Bad. saying no names. I'm not saying no names. But it was funny though because I'm sitting there like. Like we don't know Toto. Toto. toto like. <laughs> I mean, I understand you wanted to contribute, I guess, somehow, but. If you are not a musician and you really don't know how to play the piano, like you getting on trying to figure out the sound while you're, you know, the people are singing, and he's like, I'm just like, yo, I I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Yeah, it was, it was a little, you know. Shout out to Lady Chase. Yeah, shout out to Lady Chase. What up, ma? What up, ma? (laughs) Two men. Yeah, she toned in. Yeah, she was she was getting popping a second ago yeah, with the music. Totally <laughs> Six foot five, toe whopping. Oh gosh, is she that tall? She's that tall, I think so. I don't think she that. She tall though. She's six five. I is she? So. If I throw her on basketball, she's ready to go. <laughs> no, shout but out to you. <clears throat> shout out to you. And then the last thing I'm gonna say is, all right. I know that you know losing someone is really really upsetting. I'm not talking about my family now. I'm talking about 
to the people who were in the suite next door to us. I thought that um, there was a riot breaking out next door because all you heard was ba -doom -doom -doom, ah, and screaming and yelling and crying. I'm like, ah, wow. I wanted to go next door and just see what was going on but and give them like the Kermit look, but I kind of just... <laughs> I kind of just chilled. Yeah, I was like, let me you just. Know, you know, get, you know, now I didn't know what they were throwing. They must. It, it sounded like they were throwing chairs and rolling around, and it, it sounded like pure chaos. But speaking of that, um, I went to church yesterday. Oh. Um, yeah, me and my family. Wait, you know, no, no, no. You know, we we we. I'm trying to. Get <laughs> Listen, guys. I grew up as a Jehovah Witness. All right, mm. so. For me to get into a church environment, it's really difficult because I was taught growing up how all of these other churches are horribly bad. So it's not easy for me to jump into something, but I do enjoy the word of God and the Bible stories. I, 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 I keep it real, I do enjoy it. So I said, let me just you know, take a trip out to a church and we went in and I just felt disgusted. Like, I just felt disgusted. But walk, walking in there was nice. I mean, people was greeting me, the church was clean. They sat us down, nice, you know. A little bit too much singing in the beginning, but you know, that's okay, that's cool, that's what they do. How long did it last? How long did it last? It was too long, it was three hours. <laughs> like, I kept, for, I kept looking for I kept looking for a window to leave, mm -hmm. but it wasn't happening. But what really bothered me was the, the, the collections. I thought, growing up, I used to always see the box somewhere within mm -hmm. the uh, meeting, you know, you just, at the end, you just drop your donation in the box and keep it moving. That's how Joel Witness did it. Oh, that's boxes. how Joel Witness yeah, did it. Oh, that's I, not how I know it. churches, they usually pass it around. But no, what they did was they set up shop. They set up shop in the front, I guess, right in front of the uh, bishop. Mm -hmm. They had a lady that was taking cash envelopes and they had a dude that was taking the debit card transactions. Yeah, but they take debit cards? Debit Stop. Card. Stop it. Stop. Receipt. You lying. Printed receipt. <laughs> I ain't even been playing. You're you like, a lion. I, no you're lie. lying. And dude you're was lying. like part of a security team. He had a white wire hanging uh -uh. from his ear. Nah, nah, you like lying. dude was writing out receipts. Here you go. Cash transactions over there. Um, uh, merchant transactions over here. And that was the okay, what first collection. That one? Not I don't want to put the church on glass. I don't want to put the church you on glass. You can tell me off air. Yeah. I'll tell you off air. Yeah. But that was the first collection. I was like, okay, I'm gonna skip that because they were saying like, you know, we want to start at a hundred dollars. I ain't never heard you start at a limit at a hundred dollars. I said, okay, my two dollars in my pocket ain't gonna work for this. So I'm gonna just wait. So I could just maybe drop it off. Wow. Then it's like it's like they would preach a little bit, sing a little bit, stop, take a kind of collection. Did this so much. They did four. They did this four times. I would have been annoyed. And they were trying to put people on the spot. They were trying to have a new member stand up. I'm like, I'm not a member. I'm just a visitor. I would have been super annoyed. Yeah, I was very annoyed. Um, see, now, this kind of like, it's, it puts me in a position where I don't want to go back. And now, it's, and that's what's, that's, I just, I just had to set it off. I'm not feeling the whole collection thing. I'm not trying to judge how you preach. I'm not trying to judge how you handle your church, but the collection thing that turned me it, off. It, it you should like just say, extreme. Yo, you should have just said, "Yo, twenty to get in before nine. So if you want to sit in this <laughs> section, like a party. honey, uh -uh. you know, if you want to do VIP um, water service where they bring you water up front, you know, that's what they should have done. Real talk. I mean, that's you know, how that, I feel. and that's that's unfortunate because you know that turns people off, like For way real. off, from wanting to go to church. I haven't been to church in a long time. I'm not gonna say how long, but. It's not because I don't believe in God, but I just, I don't know, something about the atmosphere, it just, some of the churches turn me off. But every now and then I go, you know, I want to hear the word and what have you, but yeah, churches, y'all need to relax with that. I know you're supposed to do your tithing Yo, and offering. The tithe, no, let me break it down. He did the mathematic calculation for you. He said if you make $1,000 a week, it's 100 If you make 500 it's 50 <laughs> Just move the decimal I mean, place. You just he have? broke down algebra. He broke it down for people. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah that's, I wasn't feeling um, that. I wasn't yeah, feeling so. that at all. I ain't gonna say a name, I ain't gonna say. You told me off the I wanna know, yeah, so I will you. not be going there. Anyway, yeah, so that's pretty much everything I needed to set it off on for now. So. For now. So. So we're gonna get to the. Uh, look, oh, look, yeah. look, Greg is excited oh, yeah. about this topic. <laughs> I don't oh, yeah. even know how oh, yeah. this is gonna go, but. Yes. For all of the listeners tuned in, if you don't already know, the topic is, 
if someone close to you sucks at what they do, <laughs> would you tell them? Would you or would you not? Yes. So we want you to call in with your thoughts on this or any examples that you might have and why you did or did not yes. tell the person that they suck. Yes. Okay, so the phone number, just in case you don't know and you don't have it locked in your phone already, which you should, like I do, but it's 877-760-1422. Mm-hmm. Again, yes. the phone number is 877-760-1422. Mm-hmm. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into a little bit more music more music Musica. and we will be back and we're gonna get into it right. we'll be right back trash can set what trash can set i don't know i'm just gonna say trash can set what the hell is that? Yo. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the 